All right, hello, fish with attitude community. Um, first of all, I want to apologize for the lack of quality. This is the best I could do, but I think it fulfills its purpose. And the purpose of this video is um, this is going to be a little addition to the progress guide I already wrote. Um, you can find the guide on the link below. Um, the video is not going over the whole um, whole guide. Actually, the video takes place at the end of step two. And what I mainly want to achieve with this video is to give an example, um, since a lot of people are have, uh, having trouble getting three star tanks. So, um, as you can see, these are the first uh, three star tanks. Um, I have to uh, say this is not my device. Um, otherwise, I would have done the video like really s or sooner. It's just, uh, I already got the fishes, I got mainly most of the rare fishes, so I asked a friend that already started the game to play, like, um, as my strategy guide um, says, and he was willing to do that, so thank you, thanks to him. Um, now, as you can see, um, like I said, the first uh, three tanks are already three stars, and uh, step two is about getting the next three star tanks, which is four, five, and six. So, I got a little lag here, sorry for that. Um, so to get 4, 5 and 6, I already uh, mentioned in the, in the guide, that you should breed all the fishes up to the rare ones, which are like 23 fishes. So when you do that at home, on your device, you don't have um, to wait like to figure out all the best combinations in the tanks till you get to 23. Like, you can look what your fish is like and or not like like right away when you get them so you don't get too confused that much but you need to breed them all in a row to the rare ones so you get them all as you can see here my friend uh, breeded all the fishes for me and now we got this whole mess even here like two fishes are really unhappy um, I told him to just throw them in different tanks so I can show how this works. So now as you can see we got the fourth, the fifth and the sixth tank and they basically all um, have no star and I don't know how this will end up but um, I hope, I really really hope that at the end of this video um, we're gonna have some stars on these tanks otherwise I will look kinda like a fool <laughs> but uh, um, um, I really believe in, in in my strategy and I think this is gonna just work out fine so basically what I'm doing here is um, since I don't I never had like an overview till now I'm looking at all the fishes and, and what the fishes like and what the fishes don't like and when I get like a kind of overview about things I'm gonna throw or gonna start throwing fishes in the same tank so here I already found out like um, some fishes like the movie star fish right there and the clown and uh, alright let's just um, move some fishes around I think uh, it's kinda hard sometimes to <laughs> hit the right fishes I don't know um, if you have the same problem sometimes but kinda annoying right there um, alright let's switch back to the fourth tank here real quick um, I think uh, um, when I cut the movie together, uh, at some point I will speed up because this is really going to take a while. Like um, I'm not doing anything special right here. Just like I said, I'm I'm getting an overview and trying to figure out which tanks, um, which fishes I should throw in the same tank. Like um, when you do this at home, like you breed your 23 fishes, just like I stated before, just breed them one by one and don't like start breeding fishes um, twice right at the beginning just because um, you're already having like a, a dislike issue just throw it in another tank and le let it be just keep breeding those 23 fishes and, like you see it you while you breed you're already gonna figure out which ones fit together best that's all I want to say um, alright as you can see um, getting uh, the first star here already 
the funny fish and the clown fish uh, work well together. The movie star and the ninja fish. I really like the ninja fish, by the way. Um, yeah, so let's see. Um, as I see now, the toys are all um, thrown into different tanks too. It's uh, all kind of messy, but we can handle this, I think. Um, when I'm, I'm basically doing this now tank by tank. I'm gonna do the fourth tank, then the fifth tank, and then the sixth tank. Um, and I hope that we're mainly gonna focus on those three tanks now for the three stars. And um, I hope. Um, this will work out really good. So I'm gonna speed this up for now. I'm back. Um, as you can see, after ordering all the fishes we had and ordering all the toys to which fishes they belong, we got the three tanks we wanted to optimize. We got them so good. I mean, this is really lucky. <laughs> I, I didn't have that much luck, but on, on here, on this device, we got three two star tanks. Um, and this looks really good in, in the fourth tank. Um, it's only the ninja fish we have to upgrade. In the fifth tank here, there's only the dancer fish missing. If the dancer fish fits in perfectly, which is right now um, at the making anyway, then the fifth tank will be perfect too already. Um, just kind of really lucky. I'm jealous. <laughs> um, so as you can see here, the, the robber fish uh, needs a dancer fish. And um, in the sixth tank, I believe it was. I have to figure out real quick. Um, yeah, right. Um, in the artist fish is missing its toy, and the toy sadly is one of the rarer ones. And the popsa fish likes a different fish, so we have to breed the popsa fish again. So if you look at this whole thing now, um, seventh um, tank, of course, real quick. Um, doesn't matter for now. There um, two fishes are all right. Let's just split them up. Don't let them be upset. Um, I will do that real quick, I guess, because I don't like sad fishes. Let's just put the astronaut in a single tank. You can go up 
rockets guy. Um, Alright, so again, to the fourth tank, all we have to do is rebreed one single fish, the ninja fish. Alright, of course, based on luck or not, um, you might even have to breed it two or three or four times. Um, in the fifth tank, like I said, we got the dancer fish in the making, so if the dancer fish fits in, it's already perfect. If not, we might have to breed this one again like two or three times, we don't know. And in the sixth tank, we have to rebreed the pops of fish. So now, if you look at those three tanks, there are only three fishes we have to rebreed again. They all fit in at first attempt just by breeding all the 23 fishes at once like in a row without stopping without rebreeding over again because the fish like the fifth fish didn't fit in just breed continuous and you'll be fine so I hope um, this is a good example for how it works uh, I've just noticed the seventh tank even as a first star <laughs> um, I think in, in two three days, even faster maybe, um, on this device my friend will have six um, three star tanks. I think this is a really good proof this works. Um, so if you're one of those people that, uh, or one of those players I should say, sorry, that rebreeds fishes right away, you might want to rethink your strategy. Depends what you like or not. So everybody has his opinion and I hope this really helps. And since I've noticed like some people having issues or what not say issues problems figuring stuff out so um, yeah that's my thoughts to the game I hope um, you really liked it um, I would appreciate it if you if this really helped you feel free to register on the forum uh, on the link below thank me in the forum or leave a feedback or a comment or whatever and um, yeah, that's it for now. See you guys.